cold, cold, cold. It's just going to be one of the biggest stretches of chill that we've had this season. And that says something, as it's been a very cold winter so far. At times we thought maybe, hey, we moderate decently the second half of February, but not the case. Look at these well below average, well, well below zero even temperatures at times into the upper Midwest and Northern Plains. We'll maintain warmth at times with the Southeast Ridge, but these cold fronts cut down and there's some pretty good troughs and that's gonna continue to allow the cold to spread more next week into the Southeastern portion of this general region into the Midwest, into the Mid-Atlantic. As you could kind of really get a good picture here, a lot of these temperatures are very cold for what is going to be now the end of February. Tons of moisture through your Wednesday. Uh, one system exited across the Mid-Atlantic and then another one forming, bringing in the snow across portions of the Midwest and the Great Lakes with severe weather down towards the south. And there was a thunder ice storm into like Oklahoma. A Wednesday morning, so impressive stuff. This is Thursday morning now, heavy snow moving through Michigan and through Ontario, mixing just to the south with kind of that dry slot near that low. Snow and mix moves off through interior northeast and New England as you go through the day on Thursday, and then we'll see some lake effect showers come off these lakes and continue into early Friday before high pressure moves in, pushes that out of the way before, of course, we can't get a day break. Another system forms and moves on through and then we're gonna have a more organized low pulling in that Gulf Coast moisture. That's gonna be plenty of moisture and that's gonna allow for a snow system to develop on Saturday with another low pressure system coming out of the Gulf riding along this frontal boundary and that's gonna provide plenty of moisture, more severe weather, flooding rains into the Tennessee valleys, into the deep south with a corridor somewhere, might be here, might be there, but somewhere of heavy snow that is going to move through the Great Lakes and the Northeast and maybe through portions of Ontario and Quebec with a little bit of wraparound lake effect with that into your Monday and then another system. Yeah, a lot. Stuff comes out of the West and this one's going to slide on through Whew. <laughs> into early to middle of next week. Do we love that? I don't know, man. We got plenty of cold air that's going to continue to form, push its way on down towards the south at times as well. Um, snow is going to certainly be at the surplus, some spots picking up 6 to 12 inches or more with this pattern, much less where the core of the cold is. Plenty out across the Intermountain West as well, and then not a ton deep into the south, but I mean, you're certainly infiltrating portions of the plains into the Midwest with this type of pattern for the most part. So active, no shortage of that. Averages. As far as our precipitation over the last month, you can see uh, most spots are maybe uh, 25 to 60% of normal, so that decently below average. And you got the green there that's a little bit above average. And when you look at the seasonal snowfall totals, you can definitely see there's some snow holes in spots where just into the mid-Atlantic, that's a good amount of snow. Where there's lake effect areas, tons of snow. And then... You don't, it's, you don't expect to see it at all, but right along the Gulf Coast, significant snowfall from that one generational type storm. You do not see that every decade, that's for sure. Tons of rain coming up as we go throughout the next week. Spots of three to five inches, and even on the northern side where it's gonna be more and the wintry side of things, still upwards of a half an inch or more, and significant rain will cause some flooding across Mississippi, Louisiana, through Tennessee, into Kentucky and West Virginia, as these few different potent storms move on through. After that, we get drier weather to push into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes, into the interior Northeast, still a fairly wet pattern across the south and across the middle portion of the nation. The big story is really this cold air. Look at that, negative 33 wind chill, just significant wind chills pushing down towards the south. Kansas getting into the negatives, possibly. You're into the 20s and 30s, feels like temperatures, into Memphis and Atlanta, into Texas. Yeah, this is a, a January type chill and a pattern that typically we would see starting to uh, moderate major cold into the Northern Plains, in through much of Canada, and this does slide at times into the Northeast. So the big story is prolonged cold and still a very active pattern at times the next couple weeks.